Hey guys, this is Mike here. Um, I'm actually getting uh, helping my friend actually getting a Mi Pad 4. So um, today I'm going to help him actually uh, uninstall, uh, I mean like installing the Google Play Store. So I'm just showing you guys the unboxing video of this uh, so that um, you guys are aware how to do as well if you're interested in getting one. Um, this tablet itself from reviews for fighting, they have a very decent specs uh, with um, for the price. I got this, uh, I think less than 200 USD, so the price has been pretty good. Matte color, screen protector, so there are some pamphlets. Quick cables. So that's all it has inside. It's not anything fancy. So let's just boot up and take a look. Okay, let's put, put this aside. Um, it's booted up now. Okay, so that's it. Uh, part of the reason I don't really like uh, this kind of screen protector is because you can't actually see the screen properly. So let me just set it up and we'll get on to the process. Okay, as you can see, there is an update available. So, um, if you want to do anything, it's advisable to just update to the latest uh, firmware. Then we can do the uh, installation of Google Play. Okay, uh, so the pad has been updated now. So ultimately, what the next thing we need to do is to install Google Play Store, which I'm going to show you um, later on what you need to do. Okay, once you have downloaded the um, Google APK for the Google installer, you can go to File Manager. Uh, okay, then you can look for your internal storage. There's a Google installer. We just tap on Google installer, and then settings, allow. Okay, then go back, install. So done. You can go to straight to open it. And what you need to do next is just uh, there are some basic reasons and stuff you just need to click on install and they will be installing all the stuff so you just need to go to settings allow and install for all of them so done uh, so install done so this process is going to take like a few items you're installing so you just continue on with Okay, install, install, install. I think by the end of the day, everything will be done. So after this, I'll show you what what kind of apps they can. I mean, like end of the day, what kind of apps that you want to remove it from? Then um, from the uh, from the tablet itself, those Chinese apps that you are not using. And finally, is Google Play Store. So once you have that installed, everything will be done. Like now, it's like done, 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 done. Okay, now we are done. So ultimately, you have your Play Store installed here where you can install the stuff. And the next thing to do is to see which app. They don't actually come to a lot of apps actually if you look at it. Most of them are tools, which is Xiaomi tools and stuff. More apps. So with this, I think this one, you can just remove it. And install. You don't need all this. And install. Okay, then um, this one. And install. Okay, and this one. Install. App Store is up in games. Games you can't, it's in uh, ETN. And this one you uninstall. What else you can uninstall? Me AI? No, this is not me live. 
uninstall and this google installer after this i think you can actually uninstall it after that i don't think you need that anymore since you have your google play store so app store uh, you can't so ultimately what you are left with just this handful of stuff and of course end of the day they are all this is not something that you can uninstall all these are basic apps so there you go uh, i think most of our stuff is installed i don't think you can uninstall that those are system apps so feedback yeah so ultimately that, that's all you can so uh yeah now you have a clean tablet the google play store install and we're all done so uh, if you do have any questions about this, regarding this, uh, you can just post a message down below where I'll try to answer you as much as I can. And um, yeah, that's it. I mean, this is one of the most um, budget value tablet available in the Android market as of now, which I personally think that this is a very good buy. Um, I got it actually for less than 200 US. Um, it's 800 in my currency, 800 ringgit. So yeah it's pretty good buy actually um and uh it's snappy it's fast uh build quality is okay but of course there are some features that are not there which is not um useful for most of the people so yeah that's all i have for today guys uh if you do have any question please leave a link down below uh leave a comment down below i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and that's all for today hope to see you again soon bye